Hey everybody, welcome to Gosh Darn What a Hoot. All right, I don't think that works. From, <laughs> that's from, <laughs> that's from Jumby on, on YouTube, so thanks for that Jumby. Uh, we're giving Patreon members early access to our pre-taped pre episodes. If you want access to prizes, giveaways, and the pre-show live stream. Just now in the pre-show live stream, I played uh, HQ Trivia, and I won a dollar and fifty-something cents. Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh, but sign up at uh, patreon.com slash getting Doug for the 420 Club if you want to help us uh, keep, the, keep the lights on and the buds lit. <laughs> uh, Doug Plugs. I'm taping Doug Loves Movies at the UCB Theater in Los Angeles on Tuesday, December 11th. That's uh, one week from tonight. Uh, I'll be at the Emerald Cup in Santa Rosa, California, December 15th and 16th. And I'm going to be at Cap City Comedy in Austin, Texas for two shows on New Year's Eve. For all my dates and deets and links, go to DougLovesMovies.com and... Enjoy the show. Hi, nice to see you. You hey. too. <laughs> All right. Blast off. Let's knock some more shit over. Here we go. Oh, such an exciting beginning. We've got an old bee and a newbie. To my left is Bree Esrig, and joining us for the first time, yes, is Yo. Ian Abramson. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna just jump right to the last card and and uh, do your plugs right now, you guys, Spoiler because I, I I feel like I'm gonna get really really fucked up this this show. This is like memento. It's all out of order. Or I should say, yeah, we're going. This this is like Pinter. We're gonna do the whole show backwards. <laughs> okay. Get Taylor out here. Where is he? Um, wow. I really thought I was going to help you out, Ian, and really lay down some plugs. That's and, what I was saying. It's it, a spoiler alert. That it just I, says you're on Twitter. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Wow. You, did it. you guys yeah. You guys on Twitter? <laughs> I've heard of it. Just You could find him at Ian Abramson. That's right. And my Twitter, Twitter handle, my name. Yeah. Even less of a surprise. Wow. No, Sometimes the surprise is in our hearts the whole time. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, like in movies? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and you can check out Brie Esrig uh, on Funny or Die. And, uh, oh, the show is called Like and Subscribe? Yes, it is. That's, That's fun. clever. It's pretty cute. That's super fun. <laughs> and uh, our next show that we're going to tape uh, after this one will be available uh, on December 11th at 1215 Pacific. Unless you're a member of the 420 Club, then you're gonna get it like a day early. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. Very Don't fun. you wish you could get things you like a day early? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, at Christmas? Yeah. That's why <laughs> Christmas Eve exists. Yeah, I wanted a day early. Why don't other holidays have Eves, you know? New I Year's. guess people give it That's to That's true, it. that's true. You're absolutely right. But they don't call well, it New Year's Day Eve, though. That's true. Right? Mm. And I guess it is All Hallows Eve, but then what happens the day after Halloween? That's what I was going to say. Did you have that on a card? <laughs> they don't have Easter Eve. Right. They don't have Arbor Day Eve. The day, day before Eve. Jesus came back. We could start it in 2019. We can just throw Eve on everything. Right. The day before Abraham Lincoln's on. birthday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we celebrate the last day, July 3rd, the last day that the British Empire was in charge? Well, I'm, I'm all about that because that's Tom Cruise's birthday. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry my uh, phone keeps going off. People keep buying me, uh, getting, helping me to get saves on uh, HQ. And uh, I, I you know, can't figure out how to make the alerts go off. We need to smoke, you guys. It's yeah. uh, 20 minutes after the hour. So just uh, grab anything. They're all loaded with a sativa cold. Uh, what is it? I want this one. It's oh, called Briestra. No, that's not it. It's called <laughs> Sunset Sherbet. Fun. Is it Sherbet or Sherbet? And then uh, the Indica is Devil OG. Because, you know, if you're going to make an Indica, you got to make it sound scary. <laughs> Wait, which one's, which one's we, we don't, Indica? I, we didn't put the Indica in any of them, did we, Taylor? Tight. No. Yeah, so you can, <laughs> you can just smoke, Great. smoke out of any of them. And, uh, oh, I might as well do this, this sucker right here. <clears throat> so, Ian, 
we love to get into it with people that are on for the first time, uh, you know, ask them about their first time. Uh, what was your, <laughs> what's your high history? I'm going to have my whole own high history. history. And that's the answer. <clears throat> um, <laughs> it's been a while. Last time I uh, was high, I took 85 G of edibles, which is much more than I'm used to. And 85 G? <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah. Not MGs? It, I'm sure it was MGs. Okay. No, Whew. yeah, right? You might I be like dead. A whole you sheet might be a cake, ghost. A whole sheet cake of... But 85 uh, is probably not your... No. Not a great number for you. No. If, you don't, if you're not doing that a lot. Correct, yeah. And so then what happened to you? It was the classic getting high, going wrong story where I thought I was okay, so I took more. And then... Oh. Uh, and I was at home, so I would, thought I was okay to go to bed. And then I woke up, and uh, like my movement perception was all off. And I was like, "This is not what I was anticipating. I expected to be really loopy, and instead, I'm having trouble seeing." Did you have to hold on to like walls and shit? Yeah, I would. Yeah, it was weird to text because I couldn't see my finger moving. But when <laughs> I stopped moving my finger, then it would be where it was supposed to be. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, this edibles thing is really, uh, really uh, gets some people. Yes. I usually don't hear people uh, telling stories about their finger not moving uh, after just smoking too much. That's yeah. very true. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's yeah. the edibles really uh, get people into a trippy state sometimes. Yeah. But uh, but that wasn't your, your what about your first time ever? Oh man. Did you like try it in high school or something or? No, I was a, a late bloomer. I was uh, I was probably like twenty five. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't go. Yeah, I you were a late bloomer as well, right? Yeah, yeah. I beat you by three years. Yeah. A loser. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just yeah. Uh, yeah I, a lot of people would have beaten me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But, um, I know that's dogs cool. who have beaten us both, so. So you're just sort of, uh, you know, like, what's your uh, occasions for smoking? What's like the. You, you have Very like, special specific occasion. reasons? Yeah. Like, uh, 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 I, I nothing to do tomorrow. Right, nothing to do tomorrow. <laughs> a big group of friends in a in a contained hanging out situation. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. What ooh, was your first ooh, time? How contained does it have to be? Like, are you like uh, locked up? Any strangers at all? Uh, oh, it's an escape room. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Get high and try to get out. Right. Last time I had to text my way out and I couldn't. Right, because um, your fingers, yeah. they were moving. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> I, I got high with a friend once in a hotel room, and then he left, and I thought he was going home, and then he texted me like 20 minutes later from right out in front of the hotel saying, I can't move. <laughs> 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 you got me too high, I don't know what to do. So I was like, funny. just get in a cab, that's what they're there for. Uh, <laughs> they'll do everything for you. Just hand them your wallet. Uh, but... Um, Oh, what was it going to... Okay, oh, yeah, so that's the thing. Is like, that's where I have a problem. I like getting high at parties. Mm -hmm. That'll help me get through a party. Mm -hmm. But then if there's a bunch of people at the party that I'm not uh, into talking to, then the weed almost makes that worse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, But it, I say almost because, you know, it's, it's <laughs> never worse for me. <laughs> it's yeah. just that's one of those situations where it's borderline, especially if there's somebody you really don't like there. Is that the worst situation no you think being mad, to be high in? Mad and high, what? Is that the worst situation you think to be high in for you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that or if I was operating a lathe, <laughs> that would be probably a bad time. Mm -hmm. But more just because in my, I'd get in my head about it and be scared mm -hmm. that I'd do something bad because I'm high, not because being high necessarily makes me, you know, more, like the whole don't operate heavy machinery when you're high thing. I think it's more like don't know what you can and cannot do when you're high. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Because there's some people that operate heavy machinery for a job, and it's probably the only thing that gets them through is being high. And, sure. you know, and, they're, and they're good at being focused on it. If you, you operate know, like Taylor trains. when he comes out here and dabs people out. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> he's high while he's doing it, so that's probably dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but, you know, we still manage to get through it. It works out okay. And do you have any um, any like famous people smoking with famous people stories? 
And, we, and, and Bree, we could try to get an update from you I was on say, that. I say Bree is uh, smoking with my famous people. Smoking with yeah. famous Bree. I used to ask here. people that all the time, and the, an you know, the answer was always, you know, Snake I got dog. tired of hearing Snoop Dogg and Obama. <laughs> <laughs> when I smoked with Studs Terkel in Chicago, let me tell you, that was, uh, that was great. He, was, he had been dead for 10 years, and it was an experience of a lifetime. <laughs> okay, Bree, do you have any uh, <laughs> any more recent ones? Because I might have asked you that before. You have. I don't, but I can tell you a celebrity I would like to smoke with. Oh, that's fun. Love this concept. Okay. <laughs> Let me write it down. Please. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <sighs> Helen Mirren. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> that's very fun. That is a great idea. I feel like she would be really touchy-feely. And I'm wow. here for that. Oh, you think like she'd wear Angora and say, have at me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely. That's very wow, fun. okay. Yeah, she uh, she would be interesting, I bet. And yeah. like have plenty to say, and most of it would be interesting because of that mm -hmm. accent. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> You know, and her and her, gra you know, her gravitas as an actress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm down for that. All right, so uh, you know, Brie, if we get her on the show, because da <laughs> Daniel, our producer, is right over there on a laptop making it happen. Mm -hmm. uh, when she's on, we'll have you back. Thank you so you can much. Be on with her. <laughs> this is not a Daniel. This is a new idea I'm having. That with each guest, we ask them who they would love to smoke with and chat with. Wow, good idea, Doug. Live, <laughs> living or dead. Living or dead. So we have to, uh, Ian has to... Um, Studs Terkel. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to try to dig up Studs Terkel for yes. him. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but yes, thank you for that <laughs> idea, Bray. <laughs> but, you know, it's uh, got to be an honor for you to inaugurate such a great idea in addition to having it. Because uh, I, yep. I do think that's how we get... Helen Mirren, can we tell her that you're dying? Absolutely. <laughs> you can tell her anything about me. I don't care. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. So, Bree Estring's dying, loves Helen Mirren, wants to smoke with her. Yes. yes. Put that out there. Get that going. <sighs> Do you have um, an all-time? you got to participate now, too. Oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> Who would you want to smoke with? A want to uh, that I haven't yet? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's an interesting one. Thank you. I just came up with it. Wow, good idea, yeah. Ian. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. That's really, that's really tough. It's, uh, you know, it's similar to when people ask me what my favorite movie is. I say, I don't have a favorite movie. They go, you love movies and you don't have a favorite movie? It's like, yeah, because I love movies <laughs> with an S. Yeah. <laughs> Doug yep. loves if there were several of them that could mash together in one perfect movie, maybe, but uh, I can't. I can't just name one. That's a fun. But also, game. I've been really good at. I've been really lucky with smoking with people. Yeah. You know, one that I'm sad that didn't happen before he passed away was George Carlin. Oh, yeah. I would have enjoyed that a great deal, as as would he. <laughs> and um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Orson Welles? Yeah, you stumped me. But that's the that great thing be about fun. being the host right. is you don't have to answer. <laughs> uh, who'd, you, who'd you suggest? Orson Welles. Oh, yeah, that's that'd be a good really one. Right? Yeah, yeah, you know he had some fat-ass blunts. <laughs> <laughs> he was a, I bet you people that smoke cigars on, on the regular <laughs> can't really, like a joint's nothing to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like that's just like, what are you doing? Sucking on a Q-tip? <laughs> Um, all right, I got to say some shout outs to some Patreon people. Okay. People in our 420 club. Uh, Rich D. Marinis and Raymond Langston are two of the, uh, I don't want to say they're the oldest members. They're not old, but they've been around since we started. Uh, Jonas Nywall, Doomsday Sloth, uh, <laughs> Chris Perkins. Well, clearly, some of these names are made up. Uh, Chris Perkins is yeah. what you question? <laughs> Trading <laughs> Vices. <laughs> Trading Vices, William Sutherland. I feel like I've read all these before. Is there a chance I got the same card again? Um, Krista Randall, Wendy Martin, Eric Svargbergs. Svargbergs. Is that how you'd say that? Svargbergs? Yeah. Eric's <laughs> <laughs> Eric Svargbergs. 
And um, real quick before we go to our first break, can we believe we're almost there? Have you guys been smoking? Oh yes. Yeah. Okay, good, because we, you know, people love it when you smoke a lot, <laughs> and uh, it'll do great things for you. Uh, but I'd like before we go to our first break, I I want to ask you the question: Marijuana know something? Here's a question. <laughs> we got to figure out the answer. I don't know the answer. Okay. Okay. Great. All right. In 1932, what adversary did the Australian army declare war against? What year? 1932. Oh. So in our lifetimes, when did, what did, I have no idea what this is. The Australian army declare war against. They declared war against something. That question just went Drugs? right through Around me. the time of the Great Depression, just after the Great Depression, yes. Mm -hmm. Um, Maybe the original Mickey Mouse cartoons? They declared war on them? Yeah. We're going to fight those cartoons? Mm-hmm. I mean, what were, what were Australians mad about? Were they mad about the fact that they were just, they were all uh, prisoners? They were just sent to an island? Yeah, that could be. I think weren't they still part of England at that point? So maybe they declared war, and then that—that's how you get. That's how they got separated. But it was just by making the declaration. They didn't actually have to do it. That's great. You think? Wow, it's so weird. I'm just like <laughs> really bad at history, you guys. <laughs> Did you think that we were speaking from a place of knowledge? Because we weren't. Did I sound smart just now? Because <laughs> uh, the My answer, first answer was Mickey Mouse cartoons. Yeah, You're doing fine. I loved it. So you have no guess? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. They had a war against emu birds. Emus. Oh. <laughs> There was a whole emu issue, and uh, according to this, the emus won. Wow. So they, they probably tried to stop all emus and, and didn't succeed. Sorry, Australia. We'll be back after these messages. <laughs> if you're carrying revolving debt, that means you're not paying off your card every month and could be paying thousands in interest every year that you don't have to. With Lending Club, you can consolidate your debt or pay off credit cards with one fixed monthly payment. Since 2007, Lending Club has helped millions of people regain control of their finances with affordable, fixed rate personal loans. No trips to a bank, no high interest credit cards. Just go to LendingClub.com, tell them about yourself and how much you want to borrow, pick the terms that are right for you, and if you're approved, your loan is automatically deposited into your bank account in as little as a few days. Lending Club is the number one peer-to-peer -peer lending platform with over 35 billion in loans issued. Go to LendingClub.com slash Doug. Check your rate in minutes and borrow up to $40,000. That's LendingClub.com slash Doug. LendingClub.com slash Doug. All loans made by WebBank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hey, we're back, and we're uh, we're still here with Bree Esrig and Ian Abramson, and uh, you know, go find them on social media under Ian Ian Abramson and Bree Esrig. <laughs> <laughs> right? You got your own name on your handles, don't right, Bree? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Thank you. Um, <laughs> all right. So this is uh, Alicia's here with the pod topics, and. Uh, um, but strangely, has an emu story she'd like to tell well, us. Well, it's not. I just think coincidentally. <laughs> uh, <laughs> who is the gentleman who plays Negan in The Walking Dead? Oh, um, oh wow! I can't it's, think uh, of it. He's got three names, and uh, <laughs> uh, Jeffrey <laughs> D D Jeffrey <laughs> Dean Morgan. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, I mean, no one in the room is acknowledging that I was right, but that's his name. Okay, I read this morning that he's about to adopt these two animals because they're like, I don't know where they are in some like sanctuary right now, but they're very bonded, and it's a donkey and an emu, and he's um, he's going to adopt them both, and I really love it. What a nice guy. Yeah, that's all. That's my story. You know what? I'd like to smoke with him. Let's get, let's start tracking him Can now. he bring the donkey and emu? That's what I'm saying. I mean, we will like smoke I mean, he's them, cool and everything, but I really want to smoke with his animals. You know Emus how? are kind of scary, though. Yeah. <laughs> how does really one fast. get both an emu it's and weird. a donkey? Well, do you know what the how context was? How you make them was? be friends? Like what? How was it not two dogs or something more common? Why were a donkey and an emu together? 
I, you know, I'll you can't fight him. love. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, that's like, um, that's a good follow-up question. That's what, that's what the internet's for. All right. So you internet heads out there, the next time you're surfing. Oh, you could just tell them on Twitter. Do you think anybody out there knows the answer, though? I hope so. <laughs> I've got a question here that I uh, have no idea what the answer would be. Again, math is, uh, you know, is, um, it's not my thing whether, whether I'm high or not high. But uh, let me ask all of you, Alicia and Ian and Bree, marijuana know something? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, this really is this isn't a pot topic but still um, pot topic. <laughs> how many coca-cola products are consumed every day Coca-Cola products yeah it's a lot of products I mean what's a day even I don't even know what all coca-cola <laughs> owns now Oh, like, have they Coca branched Cola out and they products. own, like, other stuff now? Yeah, like, what if they own motor oil? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, 739 how? million uh, a day. Wow. I mean, they must just mean the drinks of Coca-Cola, like Coke, Diet Coke, okay. Coke Zero. One Coke, billion. Coke for moms. I'm going high. One billion. Weekend Coke. Is Night. it just human consumption Vampire or Coke. polar bears? <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you, are we factoring the, the polar bears drinking Coca-Cola products? Polar bear products? Coke. Yeah. Yeah. Just yes. the people, because I think that might skew the number a little. Coca-Cola is yeah. going to outlive polar bears. Welcome to global warming. Oh. Mm. Yeah. They love it so much, too. That's the <laughs> irony. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any guesses? How much? Seven nine, 739 million. Okay. I'm saying one billion. Going one billion straight yeah. up. I'm going to go, what did you go with? 739 million. 739 million. And a billion. <laughs> you know, I'm going to like squeeze in a 900,000. I'm sorry, 900 million. <laughs> <laughs> Not thousand. Oh, 900,000 million is my answer. Okay. Um, I, I already saw the answer, so oh. I'm not going to pretend to not know it. And it's pretty amazing. It's pretty much double what you guessed. Me? Yeah, it's 1.9 billion. Wow. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> if we teamed up in our answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys just added it together. You yeah. Close. <laughs> wow. It's a lot of, it's a lot of coke. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> A lot of jittery people. Think of all the pennies you could clean. <laughs> <laughs> I would guess at least 1.9 billion. <laughs> <laughs> but not me personally. All right, take it away, Alicia, with the pot topics. Pot topic. Um, <clears throat> so this is really cool. South Korea basically legalized uh, medical marijuana use. Good medical going. Marijuana use. Yeah. Yes. South Korea. So non-hallucinogenic doses uh, have been approved, but to get it, uh, citizens do need to get a prescription, and then it needs to be approved by the Korean Orphan Drug Center, and then applications will be processed on a case-to-case -case basis. But that's nice to try to find homes for orphaned drugs. I couldn't <laughs> wait to hear what you had for that. Like, I was reading it. <laughs> Daniel would be Sorry. laughing so hard if he was paying attention. So I'm, writing <laughs> I'm literally writing Helen Mirren. He's writing to Helen Mirren right now. Yes. If we, her maybe we, let's get her booked by the end of this episode. Okay. Oh, well, then I'm sorry I interrupted. Stick, stick to it. <laughs> okay. I, well, I believe you. I, I really do. <clears throat> hey, but uh, heads up. You can't watch porn in Starbucks anymore. Or on Tumblr. Yeah. Or on Tumblr. Tumblr. Yeah, that's right. No nudity. It's anti-porn week. No nudity on Tumblr. You can't have female presented nipples. And I heard that's the warning. Uh, they've uh, ah, they've done donuts now. You porn. They got rid of all the Starbucks. Oh yeah. Mm. What? That, that's their con. That's their response. Oh okay. <laughs> that's funny. I love it. <laughs> uh, this next story is from Gary in Texas. Thank you so much for sending this to me. 
Um, this is about a new study that found that pot inhaled through vaping was a more powerful high, often with worse side effects than just smoking weed. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. That's really interesting because people do have uh, seem to be having different reactions to the uh, to the different things. I'm kind of iffy on their study though because the way it was set up, there were 17 participants who have smoked weed but maybe haven't in about a year or more, and for three days, for eight and a half hours straight, would smoke different amounts of either vaping or smoking, and they would do the smoking and the vaping a week apart, but. I just think it's so hard to test people's emotional response when they're, you know, in a foreign room with these scientists just staring at them. Yeah. I don't know. That's I true. I feel like it's a hard thing to test, but... How would you put together the test? I would just let everyone be in their homes <laughs> and just, you know, throw me on Skype in the background. Less oh, invasive. that's fun. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's my real answer for you. Great. And you know how I think they should test, police officers should, the test should be for determining if you're high or not when you're driving? Like if you're going the wrong way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or you know, if you're doing anything that's like illegal and wrong, mm -hmm. then you know, yeah, maybe that person's high while driving. But probably Let's drive. give them the ticket for that thing that they're doing wrong, right. and then they'll probably not get high and drive again. That's a, that's a good test. Yeah. Yeah. I personally don't get tickets when I'm high, so... When do you get tickets? Uh, <laughs> when I'm trying to get to the weed. <laughs> A lot of moving violations. Um, is there more to that uh, uh, study? No, that's about that. All right, cool. Do you have any follow-up questions, Ian? I asked mine. What was yours? What was mine? Well, my version of the study would be. <laughs> yeah, how you would do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You did have to He asked about my science. Uh, okay. I was curious. Thank you. Yeah, that's how this should work. Bree, get a follow-up question ready for this I'm next topic. I'm not saying my topic. version's better. I'm sure those scientists knew what they were doing. I'm just no, saying I would okay. have been freaked scientists, out. Scientists, you suck. A study with 17 people? Right, the 17 is also and the fact that they haven't smoked in about a year. There's just so many factors that you can, you know, Give me their main, this, their, what they discovered again, the, how it was phrased, the vapes that vapes hurt, hurt you more. gave a more powerful high, but also, like, negative side effects were more prevalent in people that vaped. All right. So as far as, like, getting anxious, even vomiting. All right. Well, I'll smoke to that. Yeah. Is vomiting a, a common I'm gonna, I'm gonna side effect of I'm stay the course? I think that's high? more an anxiety-induced thing. I don't think that that's you know anxiety-induced vomiting. I haven't heard of that either. That yeah. sounds terrifying. I think I think panic also, attacks can definitely get very. Wow, that yeah. would only make it way worse. I'd be nervous <laughs> yeah, about getting nervous. Yeah, it's a pretty vicious cycle. I'd I hope imagine. I don't get so nervous that I vomit. That sounds like a nightmare. Well, I also, would never though, vape. like if you're passing around a joint, it's yeah. hard to get a really big giant rip off a joint. Yeah. But if you're goofing around with a vape pen and you want to show off, you can get oh. an absolutely insanely huge hit off of one. Yeah. yeah. And then you're coughing that out and right. it's getting you high faster because of all the bursting capillaries or whatever. And uh, But then you're also going to cough more. So it all makes sense that it's like more unhealthy, but. This is why it's you're the king. Better high. It's so hard to judge like how big that hit is when yeah. with vaping. Exactly. That's I, you know Great that's point. one thing they probably didn't get into is they probably just all just sat there. <laughs> they all just probably sat, sucked on it for a while and they weren't really paying attention to the size. Right. And, and with smoking, like and, I don't know. At least I like feel that more. Like I feel the heat of it. And mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, so. Right now, banks really don't want to deal with companies that you know do anything with weed, and. So the way that the IRS has to do taxes for these companies is to actually set up an appointment, meet with them in person, and count through all the cash because Oof. they only have cash. And so they have to do this with every single company every year, which is crazy. Like the IRS agent can't Whoa. leave the room the entire time. They have to like stay there like watching all the money go through. And uh, yeah, just hand counting it out. So. I mean, it's a lot of money. In fact, uh, it was $4.7 billion in 2017. That's more than Coke products are used daily. Yeah, that's true. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you just tuning in, he's not, he's not some sort of crazy weed smart. Yeah, can you imagine if that was, yeah, Or he just has that information. 
As a reference point, that's so funny. What a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I'm comparing everything to yeah, Coke products. My father was it. Mr. Coke. <laughs> Yeah, most things would be less than. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The polar bears yeah. your father. Yeah, that's funny. Um, so the IRS would prefer there to be better banking options, but there just aren't any right now. Well, so maybe that's the deal, is the IRS will sort of nudge the uh, banking institutions into just going along with this and not being weird dicks. Right. That seems inevitable <laughs> at this point, right? It seems like uh, banks would want all the money they can get, you know, so it yeah. seems like yeah, um, exactly money for from marijuana money. is not really something they should be concerned about. Totally. Well, I do have good news because in Alaska, there is a credit union one and they are about to launch a new pilot program, which will work with weed companies. Fun. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty cool. I'll throw some money into that uh, credit union. That credit union? Just to help them be solvent or whatever the... Right where it is? Yeah. Um, initially, <laughs> exist. Help them to exist. <laughs> initially, they're only going to have checking and savings accounts where you can deposit and withdraw. You can't do anything more banking-wise, but... What else is there to do? Yeah, um, you know, as far as getting loans and, and, you know, all those, yeah. other, those other things. So Loans. They won't have loans. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go there looking for a little something to get an eighth with. Don't do it. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, hopefully, hopefully more banks will take that lead because... I can't imagine the IRS has enough people to do that every year, and the more that states are going to keep legalizing, and the more people have taxes to file, that's just not, that's not a great system. Yeah, no, it's going to, push is going to come to shove. Do you have one more uh, pot topic? I was debating this topic. next one's uh, a little bit lengthy. Really? But, um, can you skip I'll a, try to you, sum it up? Or do it on the next show or something? Or? Yeah, yeah, I can hold off. Yeah, but what's the next one after that? Uh, this is the last one. Oh, shit. Yeah. Can you imagine working for the IRS? You no. spend all. <laughs> <laughs> Next topic. <laughs> you spend all this time going to school, learning everything you need to do, learning all the programs, and they say go to this dispensary and count the cash. That you just—that's what you spend your whole career, and then you're the guy that just has to go and one by one count yeah. the mm -hmm. money. That sounds bad. And some of those companies are making a lot of money, like MedMen at this point. When they're doing taxes, it can't be this little money pile. Like this has to be a whole yeah, it's orchestrated be a whole money thing. Pit. <laughs> 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 oh well, we thank you so much hey, for uh, helping us learn today. Happy to and, do it. Uh, you know, and also that <laughs> the you know that's I think that's why classrooms. I think they need to have uh, you know a, a teacher for just a few students. You know. Maybe they could go to Europe or something, go backpacking. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Oh, I know what I'm trying to say. We'll be back. Thank you, Alicia. Uh, Thank you. Look for her on Twitter. Thanks for sending her a topic, Gary. And uh, <laughs> we'll be right back. I swear I had. Hey, we're back. We are here with uh, the Dab King has joined us. And uh, sure. Yeah, clap. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, the dad king. And uh, in a song. <laughs> yeah, and, and Ian Abramson is here, and probably not a dabber. I thought you were going to say, and probably Brie. <laughs> <laughs> she might hey, still be with us. Here. <laughs> Brie might be here. Looks like it, but you never are know. You, uh, uh, where are you at with dabs, Brie? Uh, I look forward to doing them every time I come here, and that's the only, that's the only time, time I you do, do them. them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Special treat. Well, it's an honor. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and Ian, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. <laughs> wow. What do you guys uh, think? Should I? Of course. I don't know. Well, so, Taylor's, you know, like Taylor's good, the good. convincing thing. Taylor's the devil on the shoulder, and I'm the angel. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> He really wants you to do it because you know it's a it's a gig for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if everybody says no, Bree's saying she looks yeah. forward food to it. Keep food in my mouth. But also, Bree's saying it changed her life, and she only does it when she's here. It's terrific. Yeah. It's really, um, but it's just a kind of next level sort of thing. Do you have to do more stuff today? I'm going to therapy after this. What will oh, that be? Yeah, like? you definitely don't do that. Don't. <laughs> no. Do you want to check with? You? Can you check with your therapist? <laughs> I'll be able to check Say, after hey, I do it. Do you want to do a session where I'm totally dabbed out? <laughs> okay, I guess I should skip. Yeah, I mean, for me, the biggest thing it does is make put me in a pretty kind of sleep zone. Like it makes me okay, uh, not tired in a like oh I wish I could sleep sort of way. Just in a 
uh, if I next chance, you know, next I'll be driving next to surface, therapy, so next I don't know open if I surface should. I see. Yeah, I don't you're know. You're doing what? Driving to therapy, so oh, I don't so know if don't, dabbing yeah, and then you're doing it all wrong. Yeah, you, need, you, you do therapy, drive, then dab. No, you don't drive. <laughs> oh, they just say no. Quit therapy. <laughs> yeah, you take an Uber to therapy. And, Got it. And you even yeah. stretch out in the back and talk to the driver of the Uber as if he was your therapist. Great. And, a little uh, pregame. You, yeah, exactly. You warm up a little bit. I get my therapist to And you to can down. wind down yeah. after your therapist. Yeah, you work Perfect. out those ideas with the Uber driver first. That yeah. way they're all That's ironed so out. That's so funny. That'd be so fun to just just to complain about a therapist all the way home from the therapist <laughs> in, in the Uber. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sure some Uber drivers have psych degrees. Oh, yeah. I'm sure a lot of them have degrees. That's for damn sure. Um... Right, one, I got in one recently. The guy was like, "Yeah, I just started doing this today. I just want, thought I had a few hours to kill. I thought I'd make some money." <laughs> like, okay. Because I could see people being into the idea of just driving around, picking people up, and taking them places. <laughs> you know, like if yeah. you're lonely or something. Yeah. If Uber Not didn't... or something. If you're lonely. <laughs> <laughs> or something is where it gets creepy. Yeah. Well, even lonely is a little. You know, you don't want to seem like you're desperate to talk to people. I think I forgot something. When you're Ubering. Well, it was great having you, Taylor. <laughs> yeah, I'm gone. It's good to see you. All right, so how did that How did that go for you? How did that taste? Very nice, as always. Smooth. All right. No coughing. Well, let's offer it to the lady next. <sighs> Should I get out of your way? Why are you good. Why did you laugh at that? I'll get a nice little one. I thought the next thing I was going to say is, uh, if you don't do it, Ian, you're the lady I'm referring to. <laughs> 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 but that's not right. You can't, you know. Right. Okay, what do I do? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll put this on there. Refresh your memory. Yeah, it'll I melt, And then just pull Maybe it like a... Suck on like that, a like a normal bomb. Suck on that, okay. And the cap will go on, mm -hmm. and it'll fill up. And then when I pull the cap off, clear it, and then you're done. Okay. Wait, now I do yeah, it. Yeah, go for it. Yay. <laughs> Where do you guys see this? Oh, on the no. oh, that no. was great. That was so good. <laughs> I'm doing, do you guys ever listen to Adam Ray and Brad Williams have a podcast called uh, About Last Night? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm doing that, I'm doing that tomorrow and he just texted me if I can uh, change times and I'm just real you quick, can. real quickly, <laughs> no, I'm just real quickly get right back, no in caps. Because <laughs> he even put the prayers at the end, like please, please change it, and I just write back, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have so much fun when I'm high. Uh, <laughs> He he. <laughs> you just followed up with a nice he he, and everybody everybody's gonna be all right. <laughs> um, let me do a dab, please. Let me get on the dab train. Move this My guy out of the way. Song. <laughs> do you guys like the sound of an air horn when you're high? <laughs> It's the only sure. thing I listen to. Because I've got one right here if you want to. Oh, this will be oh fun. Oh, my God. Like, this will be an extra exciting thing. While I'm dabbing, I'll fire off the air horn. Oh, my God. Do you want me to do it for you? While you're no, no, it? I want to do everything. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be great. You guys are going to love this. You ever get mixed up and accidentally put the air horn Yeah, in that's what I'm starting <laughs> to think, because I might accidentally try to hit this air horn and blow this dab rig. Beautiful. <laughs> Dab's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that was, I've never taken a more exciting dab break. The only, the only thing that would have been more exciting is if a yacht race had started right then. <laughs> that would have been neat. Do 
guys are just mesmerized. <laughs> yeah. It's especially great for the listeners. <laughs> it's nice, quiet. <laughs> it's a little quiet time. Maybe they're yeah. dabbing and they just doze off into their nap. Now let's check back in with Ian. Hello. Who is here on the scene. Hi. Um, Sorry. How's that? How's that going for you? Watching us do it? Does it seem very like, fun? Does it seem like something you'd want to? The shape of this reminds me of like the first telephone, you know? Oh yeah. It, it, which makes me think Edison would be a very fun person to dab with. Oh okay. Sure. Can, hit up Edison. Daniel, <laughs> can you do that? Let's get Edison. Could it be a like a what? What would we be at right now? Like great grandson of Edison? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Relative of Edison. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure one of us can. Do the 23 and me and figure out that we're related somehow. <laughs> <laughs> How much do those things charge? I think they're expensive. Yeah. Like $200. Must be something stupid. Yeah. Because if it was cheap. But then if you but can also, commit a crime, that... the government has all your DNA and stuff, so... When you go and do freecredit.com, do you have to sit through some ads or something? Like, how do they make money? I don't know. It's a good question. Creditkarma.com, is that what it's called? <laughs> <laughs> is that wrong, wrong, wrong? Mm, I guess so. They just have ads posted on the web page. You know what I mean? How can they make money if they're just giving it out to everybody for free? And why do they have access to it? I don't know. Who would they pay off? Where do they even get that information from? There's always comedians in the commercials, too. Kimberly Congdon's in one of their commercials. Really? Yeah, yeah she's awesome. the one going... Yeah, just go to creditkarma.com. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure she's never been to Credit Karma. She's like, why should I do that? And she's like, because it's free, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. That's awesome. I mean, you know, she's got that attitude. I don't think they let her say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, well, Ian, what do you think? I think, yes. I'll do another one if you don't want to do one. Or even if oh, you do. Either I didn't way. understand what you were asking me, honestly. <laughs> oh, really? I thought you were just like, how are you? And I was like, I missed the question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you're doing pretty good, I take it. I'm worried about driving, so I'm not going to. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot yeah. about that. I, I'm sorry I even offered. You I'm sorry I offered. <laughs> and also, before you leave, go in the bathroom and throw up all the weed you smoke. <laughs> you have to when you're Put your when fingers you're weed, down right? and throw up all that weed. Yeah. Yeah. Make yeah. sure you can see your fingers Be careful moving. out there, really. <laughs> Just double Especially check. today over any other day because you're on film. <laughs> you yeah. went out live on the internet smoking weed before getting a ride from Uber. I had an like, edible, but I did not inhale. Exactly. That's how I say yeah. that I stopped I just, breathing. I just licked that and had edible. Mm -hmm. That in inedible. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you uh, doing some uh, smoking of some actual flour over there? Yeah, I don't also always have to concentrate. Look at you. <laughs> I like to mix it up. That's what All keeps right. my my tolerance right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's terrific advice. Always. Um, Do you want another dab? Yes, please. I'll go again. You're good though. Yes. <laughs> Brie is good. It's official. Do you have stuff to do today? Uh, I'm looking forward to a great nap. Okay, cool. That's about it. <laughs> most, most naps are great. Yeah. It's having to get up from a nap yeah. can be not great. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they just make you more tired than you were before you started napping. That's how I am. Yeah. I can I need a full five hours, whether I go to sleep at noon or at night. <laughs> Interesting. I wish that's like a superpower that I had is just being able to fall asleep whenever. That's so nice. That's what I want. But that's what the dabs are for. I like to make a little noise when I blow out. Mm -hmm. Kind of sort of dramatic. How did you land on that noise? Did you try any others? I think I might have done others in the past. <coughs> like an Aguga? And this, this was the first try on that one. I'm going to get a better one. Yeah. Yeah, let's workshop the noise real quick. Oh! <laughs> I, I like wow. that one a lot. I like that one? Okay. Gold. Yeah. <laughs> the I knew I is nice and I knew, subtle. I do have that my game. <laughs> <coughs> mm, you're still a little on there. Did you give me a big one? Uh, I may have made that one for myself, and then you said you wanted another one, so... Oh, Taylor. <laughs> Well, here, it's still going crazy. You finished Yeah, I'll it. take it. That was a big one. It's a big one. I'm doing my comedy antics. 
Well, thank you guys <laughs> for uh, doing this. And um, thank you for doing this. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, you know, next Tuesday around this time is when you'll be able to see the uh, episode we're about to make a few moments after this one. <laughs> Have a great whatever day it is, wherever you are. Bye. How are y'all feeling right now? Awesome. <laughs> I feel like we went out there, we played the best game that we could, and even though we didn't get them, we're going to get them next time. <laughs>